not sure what this building is. If I find out, I have to put it down at the bottom here. But it may be reconstruction of the old farmhouse because one part looks newer than this part here. So we'll uh, walk around here, see if we can find the, the front of this guy. There's a little garden up here. It's a front door. Looks like there used to be a, a well here, maybe. And some firewood stacked up. And uh, got a little garden here or something locked up. Got a big gigantic lock on it down there. So it weighs a ton. So I don't know what's in here that's so special. But and here's the rest of this building. And I gotta find a sign here, see what this is. Oh, there's a sign of God. This is uh, Colonial Garden here, so that's what this is. You can stop that if you want to read it, but not too much growing right now. It just looks like shrubs and stuff, but oh, there's some berries there. Look at these, look at these blackberries there, boy. They look pretty scrumptious there. But I'm not gonna take them because they aren't mine, so. And here we go. Still looking here. Ah, oh, here's the sign up here. Let's see what this says. It says this structure has been recorded by the Historic American Building Survey of the United States Department of the Interior for its archives at the Library of Congress. So uh, I don't want to walk in on that. So I don't know. But there's another household herb garden here and this is a dye garden if you want to get your dyes for fabrics they're all in there and medicinal herb garden right there and what's this one back here i missed a culinary herb garden so i guess in summertime these are probably looking pretty spiffy but uh ah, here's a sign up here I don't know what that is. Anyhow. Uh, welcome to Rel. Uh, this is what I was looking for. I wasn't sure where the first placard was. But now we can see the uh, building there, which is right up there. So you can stop the video if you want to read that. See what's going on. It's called the White Whitehall House Museum. And... Uh, I don't know if that's open or not there. I have to put my mask on. We're just going to do the outside stuff here today. Uh, here's talk more about that medicinal garden that I mentioned there with the, the building in the background. And battlefield is mostly up to the right up there, I think. And we got another sign here. And uh, this says Whitehall House. Uh, built 1748, Colonel Carl von Donop and the, his Hessians were treated here for wounds after their defeat at the, I guess, siege of Red Bank, October 22nd, 1777. And this is not far from my house. Uh, it's a very historical area here. And we'll come take a closer look at that sign. Very well weathered. Yeah, I wish it spruce that sign up a little bit there so but there you can see it and there's that building here so all right we're going to walk back up here now right. red bank and uh, you can stop the video if you want to read that but they're talking about a cannon that exploded and there it is it's right here walk around so sun is on the other side and there's a big chunk of it you can see it's it's kind of kind of thick down there yeah, there it is, okay. We're gonna walk up here and then see the monument about the Battle of Red Bank and see what it says, as usual. You wanna read the whole thing, you can stop the video. I got the sun in back of me, so I got shadows here and everything, but uh, so you get the general idea. And we got an airport that's not uh, far from here. You can see some uh, planes taking off and landing maybe we'll get a couple shots of them so yeah, here's a monument here more cannons around there some more cannons 
We're going to see what this monument is. There's a like a, a minute man up at the top there, and uh, let's go take a closer look at him, and uh, we'll see here. Okay. Here's another plaque here. You can stop the video and read if you want. And there, if we can see it, there's the the minute man way up top there. And can't get a good angle here, but uh, there's some other things around here. But if I turn the other way, the sun's going to be shining right on us here. So uh, let's move on and see some more monuments, more cannons around here. A lot to see. We got uh, the Delaware River right off on the side. We'll come back and look at that and uh, stop, take a look at this cannon. And of course, looks like he's plugged up here on the end. And uh, well, you take a look inside there. You can't see much in there. Oh, there it is. But okay, let's move on. Now we got this monument all caged up here, so you can't get near it. But let's see. We can see what it says. Something about volunteers about the monument being erected and we got a fence here so let's see if you can read that it's a little hard to read even standing here because it's kind of worn down but uh, you can zoom in on it if you want to read it and like i said lots of planes here so we got the airport so uh I don't know what's up there. It looks like I'm at the end of the trail here. So we're going to head on back down here. Okay, let's go back this way. Well, I'm down at the water's edge of the Delaware River. There's a little boardwalk. There's no fishing. I'm not going to fish. I'm just going to look. And breezy today, I wanted to go down to a couple other sites along the river where I could use my drone but I think the winds would be a little too high once I get up about 100 feet. They may be tolerable down here. There's more planes coming in to the airport because uh, the airport's right over there. So, and there's the Delaware River right here. Looking down. As we come back up here to the right, uh, the Red Bank battlefield is right up there where all the monuments were and we're going to go back up another placard right here you can stop it there's cars in back of me here but their engines running so it talks about the uh, naval battles well, there's another placard that talks about the aftermath uh, at red bank battlefield what happens afterwards here so you can read that stop the video if you want to read it okay For me it's outside so I don't have my mask on and there's this wall right here it says the harder the conflict the more glorious the triumph Thomas Paine very well said General Mercer leading his troops in surprise attack on the Hessians at Trenton in 1776 and we got this guy here and Brigadier General Hugh Mercer, a big important guy, a lot of things called Mercer here in uh, in this part of New Jersey here, but uh, we got General Mercer refusing to surrender, mortally wounded at Princeton, 1777. Yeah, those old guys paid a price to have our freedom here. So the ground of liberty must be gained by inches. Thomas Jefferson. And so it was. Thank you for all our forefathers there for giving us all this freedom. And we're looking out here and right there's, like I said, Delaware River. And we're gonna move up here. And uh, got this other plaque. I don't know if I stopped here or not, but I'm gonna take a closer look at it here and see what this one says. Fort Mercer, Red Bank, New Jersey. General Thaddeus Kozuskio contributed his engineering skills to the fortification of the Delaware River during the American Revolution, which prevented the British Navy from entering Philadelphia in the fall of 1777. 
This was the second engineering assignment General Kosciusko received from the Continental Congress. So, uh, pretty important stuff here. So, there it is up top there. And as we turn around here, you see the monuments and uh, the rest of the park up here with numerous cannons strewn around here. But you see one cannon, you've seen them all, I guess, here. So, let's, uh, I think I've seen everything there is to see here. Let's see this Fort Mercer over here. I don't know if we saw this one or not. Eh, this might be a duplicate here, but we'll take a closer look at this. There we go. I get the shadow in there. Uh, well, you talk about James Whittall here to purchase his property to construct a fort here. Because he had a pretty good spot to defend. He could see the river very well. And uh, but there were Quakers and whatever so pretty interesting story take take a minute to read over that and uh all right